back to work after the mini buy. Mike Petralia inside Paycor Stadium. We're here on Monday. The Bengals held a brief walkthrough in advance of their on-field preparations, which begin in earnest on Wednesday. Of course, the players have the day off on Tuesday. On Wednesday, the Bengals get ready for their Sunday night showdown with the Baltimore Ravens. Both the Bengals and Ravens sit atop the AFC North, tied also with the Cleveland Browns. All three teams, the Browns, Ravens, and Bengals, are 2-2. Two and two. Steelers, 1-3. and three. Of course, the Steelers, Browns, and Ravens all lost on Sunday afternoon within a matter of 30 minutes of each other. So that was a great result for the Bengals as they sat at home or wherever they were and watched uh, the rest of the AFC North not only battle it out but drop their game. So the Bengals get a boost heading in to week number five of the NFL season. A big part of getting momentum into the meat of the schedule for these Bengals will be getting that ground game running in earnest. And that was one thing Joe Mixon talked about in, in front of his locker for about 25 minutes here on Monday. Joe Mixon says he has every confidence in the world that this running game is just inches of way from breaking through and really dominating the opponent and dominating the games and really giving Joe Burrow in that passing game the kind of cushion they need to get that explosive offense up and running. Of course, we saw that a little bit here on Thursday night inside Paycor when the Bengals had three more explosive plays over 40 yards in that 27 to 15 win. But to have a running game to pound the rock, like Joe Mixon said here on Monday, is going to be a big part of the formula to success, like it was toward the end of last year after the bye when the Bengals really started to gain their momentum. And after that loss to San Francisco here inside Paycor Stadium, Bengals really started to gain some momentum on the ground. And Joe Mixon said, he has every confidence in the world that the offensive line will get it together. He has so much confidence that he called a meeting with 10 offensive linemen, with the 10 offensive linemen on uh, Wednesday, the day before the Thursday night game with Miami. And he said the meeting went very well. There were a lot of ideas exchanged both ways. Joe Mixon to the offensive lineman and the offensive lineman back to Joe Mixon. And he said, it's going to be meetings like that that really set the table for us gaining trust in each other for the rest of the year. And Mixon said that the trust with his offensive line is very, very high and his confidence is very high. And he said, once you see the run game starting to get going, you're going to see some very special things from the offense, mark my word. So Joe Mixon is very confident in this offense's ability to take that next step, to get the run game going that everybody and their brother has been clamoring for the Bengals to get going. And Joe Mixon talked about that at length here on Monday. Very relaxed he was. He said also that his left ankle has, has not been uh, bothering him too much uh, after week one and week two. He's just about back to 100%, of course, uh, during the game against the uh, Jets. Uh, he started to get a little bit better, and uh, certainly he had to sit out a little bit during the uh, end of that game as Samaj P. Ryan uh, wound up getting a bulk of the carries, all of the carries on that final drive to run out the clock against the Jets. But last Thursday night, you started to see a little bit more of what Joe Mixon is all about. Some injury notes, and they are good for the Bengals. T. Higgins was a part of the walkthrough here on uh, Monday, and jo uh, Zach Taylor, head coach, said he had no issues. Also, Jermaine Pratt was able to take part in the walkthrough. He has been nursing a sore knee. So Jermaine Pratt and T. Higgins both on the field here on Monday, and that is a good sign going forward for Sunday night in Baltimore. As for Drew Sample, earlier in the day, he was placed officially on injured reserve with that left knee surgery that he had last Wednesday, the day before the Thursday night game. He is done for the season. Ted Karras said, we're taking care of all of our work for the next five, personal work, he said, for the next five weeks. It's all about football for the next month and a half. So until the Bengals get to their next full buy in early November, uh, it's all about football. And Hayden Hurst said, he has really enjoyed his time in the Bengal locker room. Notices the chemistry right away. It is a special group to be around for sure. We'll have you covered 
on clnsmedia.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Trags, T-R-A-G-S. And be sure, as always, to subscribe to that uh, link below for complete coverage on the Jungle Roar podcast YouTube page. Want to hear all your comments, good, bad, and indifferent. Inside Paycor Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.